Good afternoon, I'm Ed Pozzuoli, CEO of Trip Scott, and with me today we're honored to have Marty Kier. Marty is the Broward County Property Appraiser. Marty, welcome. Uh, thank you so much for having me on. I really appreciate it, Ed. No, no problem. A lot of our clients don't quite understand what the property appraiser does in Broward. So talk about the role of your office and what you do. You know, our office, I think, is a very unique office. It's a unique office because it gets to help a whole lot of folks. And there are really a few main functions to our office. The first function is we determine the value of every piece of property in Broward County, whether it's residential, commercial, tangible personal property, or centrally assessed property, which are railroads. And the reason that's important is because when people pay their property taxes, the amount of taxes they pay is a relationship between the value of the property that we set and the tax rate set by our local governments. So the higher the value of the property, the more taxes folks pay. The lower the value of the property, the lower amount of taxes they pay. And Broward County, as you know, is a big place. More people live here than 13 states, the District of Columbia, and all U.S. territories except Puerto Rico. It's big. And even though the 200 and some odd folks in our office who are mostly appraisers do a very good job and their assessments are accurate, mistakes can occur. So I always tell people, if they think we've made a mistake with the value of their property, give me a holler. We'll go through it together. And if we made a mistake, we'll adjust the value accordingly. If not, we'll let them know exactly how we arrived at any particular value. Now, Marty, let me stop you. I want to make sure we emphasize one point. Absolutely. You don't set the tax rates. Right. Absolutely. That's the county and the city. Yes. Absolutely. You guys simply set the value of the property. Right. What I always tell people is I'm not the tax collector. Right. The tax collector is the person that goes out there and it collects your taxes. My goal is to make sure that people only pay their fair share, that they don't pay too much in their taxes. And that's why we determine the value of the property and we also give tax saving exemptions. It's a great job. So let's talk about those exemptions because those really help a lot of people in Broward. They do. Uh, you know what? Exemptions are so important. Uh, basically, under the Constitution, uh, people should just pay their fair share. And there are a number of exemptions that have been voted in by the people under the Constitution that basically give people a break in their taxes. And the most important exemption by far is the homestead exemption. What that basically means, if you live here in Broward County, you made this your primary residence. It's where you, ra you raise your family, where you're registered to vote, where maybe your car is registered to, you get a homestead exemption. What that does, it takes $50,000 of value off the tax roll you no longer pay taxes on. It can save you off the top 800, 900, maybe 1,000 bucks a year. But most importantly, what it does, it protects you going forward because it caps the value you're taxed on at either 3% a year or the consumer price index, whichever is lower. So let's go back over that. Of course. There are two things about homestead people need to know. Yes. One is that they get the first $50,000 tax-free. Yes, absolutely. And then, and then two, they get a cap on the amount of tax that can, their taxes can be raised every year. Right, absolutely. And it really protects them going forward, especially long-time homeowners. Because if there was no cap in place, and every single year we would determine the value for the property, and your tax rate, your, the value you're taxing would skyrocket along with the value. With that cap in place, it keeps it low. So this year, for example, the consumer price index is 1.9%. So that means even if the value of your property, what a willing buyer would pay a willing seller, goes up 50, 60, 70%, the value of your tax on can't go up more than 1.9%. It's a really good thing that protects a lot of people and saves people an enormous amount of money. And that's a great thing. That's enforced by your, by your office. It is. It is. And one once you get the homestead exemption, that's like the gateway exemption. That can open up a whole lot of other exemptions that you may qualify for. My favorite, and I say this is my favorite because, you know, in Broward County, we have, as I said, a big population. And I would say about one third of our population are seniors. And seniors can also be a part of our most impoverished population. And I also believe any time you can save a senior a little bit amount of money, that's more money they can put in their pocket where they can make ends meet. Like if they're living on fixed income as an example. Absolutely. And we have some very important exemptions. One's called the low income senior exemption. What that means, if you're over 65 years of age, you make under this year $30,000. And if you don't file income taxes, Social Security doesn't count. If you do file income taxes, you look at line seven of your income tax statement. And then when you get another $25,000 value exemption. So think about it like this. Imagine your mom or your dad or somebody you know lives in Century Village, Pembroke Pines. And we've assessed the value of their property at $100,000. They get a homestead exemption, $50,000 of value is taken off the tax roll. They get a low income senior exemption, another $25,000 is taken off the tax roll. What it really means is they're only paying taxes on $25,000 worth of value, or their taxes are maybe one fourth of what they would have been without any exemption. There are many other exemptions as well. Some are very large, some are very small, and you could stack the exemptions to reduce your tax bill. And I always tell everybody, uh, please go on our website at bcpa.net, click on exemptions, and if there's something you're not getting, give me a holler, we'll go through it, and if you're entitled to it, we'll apply it to your, the value of your property so that when your tax bill comes out, it'll actually reflect what you have to pay. You won't be paying too much. So, but if I'm living in the same house I've lived for years, and that's my homesteaded property, yes. and I got homestead the year before, mm -hmm. is there anything I need to do as a property owner? 
Well, as long as you've already qualified for homestead and you already filed it, uh, as long as you don't rent out your property and you don't move to another property, it's just gonna, it's going to automatically renew so every single So there's really year. nothing for me to do if nothing changes? On the homestead exemption. There are right. some exemptions, though, that are income-based, and so every year you have to show your income to keep on qualifying for gotcha. it. But the homestead exemption, which is the most important one, will automatically renew unless you change the ownership of the property or if you rent out the property. Now, a small number of people try to game the system a little bit and homestead, and they try to get homestead exemption by, by way of, how would I say, you know, a fraud or, yes. or some sort of misdeed. Absolutely. How does your office address that? You know, uh, as I spoke about before, if somebody's entitled to a tax saving exemption, we got to give it to them. They've earned it under the Constitution. Conversely, if they're doing something they're not supposed to do, if they're getting a benefit they're not supposed to get and they're knowingly frauding the system, uh, that's not okay either because now they're paying too little on their taxes and that's not their fair share. So we actually have a very aggressive fraud division that goes throughout the county every single day and it cracks down on people who aren't playing by the rules. And to give you an idea, they've put about $7 billion of value back on the tax roll that equates to millions of dollars of property taxes paid every year. And we've back taxed about people about 70 to $80 million and collected that money. And that's been, been returned to our taxpayers and our taxing authorities. And let me give you an example. Let's say somebody lives in New York. If they live in New York, they probably have an exemption called the STAR exemption. It's an educational property tax exemption. They then move here to Broward County and they file for a homestead exemption and they check the box in the application that says I have no other exemption anywhere else. And they keep their exemption in New York and they keep their exemption here. Under the Florida Constitution that's fraud because you can only have exemptions on one property. Right. So for some time they're going to get a reduction in their tax bill. But ultimately our fraud division which is made up of retired uh, uh, Broward Sheriff's Office deputies and folks that really understand how to find things are going to find out. And when they do, they take away the illegal exemption, they'll back tax the, the property owner up to 10 years, include a 50% penalty and 15% interest. And I'm very proud of this division because they're really there to protect our taxpayer dollars and to protect the public so that people only pay their fair share, nothing more, nothing less. So the message is don't do it. Right, definitely don't do it. And I always tell people, uh, you know, you may get a break for some time, but ultimately our fraud division is going to find out. And when they do find out, uh, not only we have to pay what you owe, but the penalties can be very, very hefty and you don't want to be subjected to that. And so Marty, before we close, how is the economy doing in Broward relative to property values? That is such a great question. And I'll tell you, we're doing very, very well. Uh, you know, this year, if you took all the uh, commercial and residential property in Broward County and you sold it on the open market, what a willing buyer would pay a willing seller, you would get about $280 billion, wow. uh, which is pretty incredible. That's a 6% increase from last year. If you look at the taxable value, basically the value countywide that people are paying taxes on, that's about $200 billion, which is also a 6% increase. And uh, what I think is amazing is countywide, our values are going up, and uh, which means more revenue is going into local governments. But the great thing about that, the vast majority of that money in taxes, the extra money, is not being paid for by the average everyday homeowner because you're homesteaded. The value of your tax on can't go up more than 1.9%. It's going up because of all the new construction, for example, out here in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, it's huge. Right, and all throughout right. the county, and a lot of people moving properties and changing hands. Uh, and then in Broward County, uh, two cities that did incredibly well when it comes to increasing their values were uh, Lauderdale Lakes and West Park. And they both had increases more in the, in the double digits, which it really outpaced the county as a whole, which I think is pretty incredible. And I think one reason being is because those are areas that people really want to live. Uh, they're great places to raise a family, and you have a lot, you have a lot of young families moving in there and making them their home. So if any of our people watching this want to get in touch with your office because they have a question, how do they get in touch with you? Uh, you know, we love to serve the public. And one thing we pride ourselves on is customer service. And in particular, I love to talk to the public and, uh, and answer any questions that they have. So if anybody has any issue with their property, if they're not getting a tax saving exemption that they uh, are entitled to but aren't getting and they want that, if they want me to review their property, if they have any questions whatsoever about property, all they have to do is call me at 954-357-6904 or they can email me at martycare at bcpa.net. That's M-A-R-T-Y-K-I-A-R at bcpa.net. And I answer my emails all day, every day, and would love to get back to them and to help them with their issue. And so, Marty, thank you so much for oh, your thank service. You. Thank you. And, and uh, you, you do it with a smile it. and such enthusiasm, oh, so thank, thank you. you. Well, thank you. And I really appreciate you and the rest of the people in Broward County allowing me to do this job. So thank you so much. Thank you.